You look like death. You gonna be all right? I think so. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. I'm Juan Franch. And we are here to talk about <coughs> Ant Man and the Wasp. Look, I'm shrinking. Hmm. Now, before we even do this, I'm just gonna say, listen, this is a this is this is spoiler filled review. We're gonna talk about the whole thing. And uh, what we liked, what we hated, what we wanted, what we didn't get. Um, I, I did want to shrink us in post-production, but uh, I forgot my green screen. And people can actually shrink. I so. can make my dick bigger. <laughs> <laughs> but we're talking about shrinking. Huh? <laughs> shrinking. <laughs> Anyways, um... So first of all, before we even start <laughs> talking about the movie, Wonski and I are sitting in the theater waiting for the movie to start. And all of a sudden, like during the previews, something the, very sweet happens. The movie theater stops playing the preview. All the lights come on like someone put up put out a fucking uh uh what you call it, like a fire alarm. And <coughs> someone from the movie theater walks in and is like, "Hello, excuse me, sorry to interrupt. Is so and so here?" And it was quiet. Everyone's looking around. And then they say the name again. They're like, "Is so and so here?" And and th it's this girl, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm here." And she's like, "We have a message for you. Can you please come down?" She comes down, and this girl's got a. How old do you think she is? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. I'm gonna go even younger than that. She looked young. Anyways, uh, long curly hair. She had these like Catwoman leather boots that went to her knee too. Did you notice that? No, I wasn't paying attention. I was like, okay, all right, whatever. You're at the movies. Chill out. You know? I took my kids to this one. Um, and and uh, so we uh. <laughs> We're like, what's going on? And then, and then we're expecting him to leave and then go on with the movie. But all of a sudden, this other guy walks up to her, and we're, and I'm just like, oh shit! What were you thinking? Huh? What were you thinking when the guy walked up? Oh, I knew what was happening. I was like, oh my god, this motherfucker is gonna be like, will you marry me? So all, all we hear him say is like, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And then he gets on a knee. We don't hear anything. And then. He gets up and they hug. No kiss. I don't even know if she said yes. Well, she was shaking. And and then after that, <clears throat> they go back up and sit down to watch the movie. Yeah, that kind of threw me off as well. <laughs> I was like, Do you think she really wanted to say yes? Yeah. Really? I've seen some fucked up no's. <laughs> Have you really? Yeah, you've never seen those on YouTube. No, no. Well, like girls say no to a marriage proposal, and it's in like fucking horrible, humiliating ways. No, no. I've yeah, there's a whole thing of that. That's horrible. Yeah. See, I would, I would never, I would never do public, public. Proposals. A public proposal? No, it's just, it's not my show. Even if I knew for sure the girl was gonna say yes, I would never do that. Like it's just. Now, have you ever proposed? Twice. How'd you do? And what? I, what do you mean? How'd I do it? How'd you propose? Uh, the first time I was at a, I, I was at a um, a Broadway show that both of us really liked, and like this one song came up that like was really like cute and romantic, and like I I I was sitting next to her, I slid the ring on her finger, and I'm like, I love you, want to be with you, let's get married, you know? Wow. I didn't say it like that, but you know. And, and then just kept watching the show. No, no, this was at the very end, right before intermission. So intermission happened, and then like, yeah. you know we uh, and kids do all that stuff like that. And then the second time you proposed. The second time was New Year's Eve, and uh, I was just looking for a place to like make shit happen. And uh, I was out on the beach, and I ended up doing it on the beach. I that I don't like because I hate the beach, so it didn't make any sense as far as that concerned. But it was nice, you know, the moon lit it really nice. It was a really nice vibe, you know. Nice. Yeah, and I said some really nice stuff too, and whatever. I was very sincere in both moments. Uh, just both moments didn't pan out. I proposed. I know, and you got married, man. Right? Yeah, I proposed by getting her pregnant. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, nice. The ultimate proposal. She's like, "Juan, I'm pregnant." I guess I was like, "I guess I'm moving in." <laughs> yeah, there you oh. go. And end of story. End Cubans. Of story. That that's how you do it. Go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What? The sex was. Uh, <laughs> we both agreed to it. Oh. <laughs> I, I guess. 
<laughs> should go to jail once. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so listen, enough about our personal lives. Let's talk about Ant-Man and Wasp. Did you like it? Yeah, I did. You fucking loved it. Stop. I did love it. Stop. Stop being so, so, uh, so... Uh, <laughs> like you, you loved that movie. You wouldn't, I didn't. you wouldn't shut the fuck. This motherfucker here was just laughing the whole time. Like I'm just like I was looking at him. I'm like, are you serious, dude? Yeah, it was very like, funny. Like you thought this was like the funniest m- movie. This this might be the most I've ever seen you laugh at a movie. I it was a very funny movie. Yeah, like like you like you laughed a t- ton. <laughs> Who is that guy? What the fuck? So agitated though. Why? Why are you agitated? I don't know. Who is he? I don't know. Uh, anyways, so <laughs> um, no, no, but seriously, like you, uh, focus, focus. Yeah, my kids loved it too. No, but you, you, you were cracking up. You just <laughs> wouldn't stop. It was very funny. And you know what else was funny? So his daughter was with him, and and she kept moving the seat up, up and down. Yeah. And like it literally was like. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like I was passing gas the whole movie. Yeah. And I'm like looking over one. He's like, it's not me. It wasn't me. Yeah. Um, I didn't think the movie was as funny as Wonski did. I just didn't. I'm sorry. The parts that I was laughing that you I thought were funny. Every part. You it's thought were joke, also funny. You were laughing. You thought that the parts that I was laughing at were also funny. No, dude. It, you know what it was? Like, like first of all, who's the guy, the, the, the security guy that talks really fast? Uh, Louis. Yeah, Louis. Like, Luis. I didn't like him at all, with the exception of the one time when he started telling the story, and the other people came in and were was was lip syncing over his voice. Uh, I thought, I thought, which was which was from the first movie as well. He did it three times in the first movie, though I believe. Yeah, yeah he did it a lot in the first movie. He, yeah. he just did it once here. Other than that, I really wasn't for all his jokes and stuff like that. I didn't like him. He wasn't that funny. I didn't laugh That's at him. That's what you were laughing at. No, nah, man, I laughed at a couple other things about him. I guess the suit deflating was really funny. Dude, you you. That was great. You 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 loved the movie. I I did, I really did. I thought it was great. Yeah, uh, it was fun. You know what? It was fun. It wasn't. You know, after Avengers and after Black Panther, it was just like a fun little fucking heist movie, man. Which, which just so you know, this movie takes place probably during the events of Infinity War. Sure. Simultaneously. Yeah, simultaneously. I would say that. Right. That's how I guess they explained that Ms. Not there. So Ms. Apparently pled guilty after the events in Germany, uh, that airport fight scene in Civil War Two. Yeah. Um. He accepted a. Which a, they, they they talked about Civil War a lot. A lot. They, he accepted a, a plea deal, uh, of how. House arrest, and so this is the final week of his house arrest, which happens to coincide with the events of uh, Infinity Avengers: War. Infinity War. Yeah, which we don't hear about or see until uh, right. crediting, right? Uh, which we were expected to see anyway. Sure. Uh, we explore the quantum realm for the second time, but I get a little more deep into it. Yeah. Uh, we meet Michelle Pfeiffer, who is Janet Van Dyne, yeah, uh, the original Wasp, which I was so happy. Mutant. The movie. Great. Mutant. Um, what, what are you saying? She's a mutant. Why do you say that? Because she has you know, healing powers? Let me tell you, like, we were trying to figure out how Fox, like, how Marvel's going to be able to incorporate the X-Men and all this shit into it, man. Uh, a combination of the Quantum Realm and the Infinity, whatever happens in Infinity War, is probably going to create mutants. Like, she's basically a mutant. Why do you say that? Because she had the power to, f- to heal the villain ghost? Because obviously her DNA was mutated because she has mutant powers. She has powers that she didn't before. Yeah. She's a mutant. Okay. I mean, wouldn't that be a way to replace the X gene? I would assume they would still call it the X gene if 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 they have the X Men. I mean, I mean, yeah, well, right, because they're called the X Men, but yeah, maybe the that X gene is what was mutated or what's mutated or the quantum realm, or whatever. I mean, I think that's a horrible way to bring the X Men into it. Right, but yeah, it's an option. It's an option because that's what happened to her, basically. Yeah, I I, I expected more. That's the one thing I did not like about the movie, by the way. Is I, I did not like that she had powers. I agree. I that agree was just uh, yeah. out of left field and felt out of place in like the she movie. Came, she came and healed her with her hand. Sure, it, it yeah. felt out of place in the movie that was all about science, right? Yeah, yeah. Where everything, even even uh, even the way that she tele- took over uh, Scott Lang telepathically was tried. To, they try to explain it with science. Like, thank God, <laughs> thank God that that that, that like guy, that I guy, was so agitated. Guy. That guy was in here talking a lot of shit about you, dude. Like, he really agitated me. Yeah. He looked like Liu Kang. He did. <laughs> yeah, didn't he? Yeah. Like, he, he had long hair. He totally could shoot fuck you, like, uh, yeah. Like, what the hell? What the 
I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like he looked just like Liu Kang. Yeah. And wasn't he wearing like a Bruce Lee T-shirt? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. He had me really agitated. Oh, I know. Huh. Yeah. July 10th. What's 2019? What? I'm no longer on probation. Really? Yeah. He's been saying that for like yeah. three years. No, but I, I last year. I confirmed. I confirmed it. July July 10th. Year. So. No, lo- no longer. Say, say, I think it's say yes to Amendment Four, which will give you your voting rights. I don't get. I, I don't want my voting rights back. I want to carry a gun again. Why? Huh? Why? I love guns. I love shooting guns. Fun. Love yeah. guns. Okay. I, Anyways, so the one thing I didn't like about movie was I didn't like about the movie was Janet Van Dyne. Like everything was science. Just powers, yeah. All of a sudden, she has powers, and yeah. and it was too neat of a. They wrapped it up too neatly that way, right? Yes. Like Ghost should have probably died. She wasn't that great of a villain anyway. She wasn't even really a villain. She, yeah, she wasn't even a villain. Uh, I don't like that they try to make her like a sympathetic character. I liked her though. I mean, she was fine. I liked she looked cool her powers she was cool. fine but at the end like Goliath was there she was everyone was there and I they, Goliath. They, they they wrap but they wrapped it up too neatly I didn't like that I didn't like yeah. that they all go into this room and they all leave holding hands like yeah. it was just it was just a little off putting but I guess like in in the heart of the movie in, in the end the movie just wanted to be a fun loving heist movie right yeah no consequences and they showed that until yeah. the after credit scenes that just completely fucked everything so before we get to the after yeah. credit scenes besides 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 uh, Janet having powers, is there anything else you didn't like? <coughs> no, I, I mean... And Ghost not being... The, the, the guys were... I didn't like the way they were used. Like what you guys? said, Luis oh, and the, the other two, they were just dumb. Yeah. Um, the, other, the security guys, I mean. The part where the seagulls kept eating the ants was a little like... Oh, I like that. I that, was like a, that was a little much. That's that's a little, that was real. a little. It's a little brutal. Though. That's real, dude. I know, right? But you're this yeah. fun-loving heist movie, and then my kids are seeing like like the end genocide. Yeah, no, no, I liked it. It was good. Right, I understand it, but like you understand why I wouldn't. I guess whatever. It's like totally, it didn't make sense in the movie. I thought it was good. Um, the Russians just they were like weird. They the whole movie they were there, and it was just weird. The what Russians? The Russians that kept the yeah. weapons dealer, the arms he dealer. Wasn't, he was like a he was like from, from yeah, whatever the fuck Louisiana. he is. Louisiana. Yeah, whatever the fuck he was. He was in there. The, good old Bayou boy, Cajun. That, they also didn't make sense yeah. in the whole movie. That was just. Oh, I know what else I didn't like. The fucking FBI agent. Oh, horrible. Wrong. Yeah, whatever his name was. Holy what shit! What FBI agent is that lame? What and, happened, and Marvel? Clumsy, like you know? seriously. Like. And you know they did the same thing of Black Panther making the CIA agent kind of like if they could though. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah, you can have superheroes and smart agents. Yeah. Marvel. And and guess what? If you're in charge of like a division of an agency, which clearly this Asian guy was a, a person of man- managerial yeah. power, like you're not a dumbass. You know, like ooh, we like leads. Yeah. Ooh. Or or oh, can you teach me that card trick? Yeah. Or, you know? Oh, you want to go to dinner? Yeah. Like. Yeah. Like, come on, man. <laughs> fail on the agents I hated them other than that yeah I thought the movie was fantastic the action was awesome yeah the shrinking and getting large they handled that really well I think better than the first one um, I, I I liked everything that Wasp did in this movie I thought was way cooler than anything Ant-Man did in the first one like when it comes to the action I thought the first movie was better than the second movie hands down Really? Hands down. I mean, I don't agree. Uh, and another thing I didn't like about this movie was the shrinking and, and re- re-enlarging of the building, the lab. Because everything needs to be tied down, basically, for it to move around. Like, yeah, yeah. You know? If not, every time they re-enlarge the lab and they go in it, it looks like a bomb went off inside. Right. But we are talking about suspending our disbelief because in the end they are shrinking a building. So. Yeah, I know. I know. But We still, can also believe that all the furniture stays in place. I know, but still. I got you. I don't know. It bothered you. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. That I didn't like. I like the cars. That was really cool. They had the little, like, yeah, Hot Wheels carrying case. Wheels yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, that was great. That was great. That was great. Um, and Go- Ghost was okay. And Goliath was all right, too. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, cut scene. Yeah, that after credit scene was crazy. Way to bring the the mood down. Yeah. Way to bring us back to infinity. Kind of like fucked credits. everything up, kind of. Yeah, we knew something was gonna happen. There was gonna be some reference to it, and 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 I think we all knew when when Scott Lang is is in the quantum verse, and he's like, guys, anytime now, we know something went down. I didn't think all three of them were gonna go. I think it was gonna be him. I thought it was gonna be him. You thought it was gonna be Scott? Yeah. No. N- well, 
the fact that the whole, you know, Pym family is like gone, like I didn't expect that at all. So what does that mean? Does that mean Scott is stuck in the quantum verse, and we're not going to see him? Uh, we're, not, we're not going to see him. He's not going to be in Avengers four. I mean, so they were making the argument here. Some P customers were making the argument here that um, that there were still there's still people smart enough that can bring him out of the quantum zone. If being, they know he's there, but that's a problem. It doesn't. It doesn't fucking matter that Suri and Tony Stark can get him out. Nobody knows he's in there. Yes. And, and there's goes, no way. If anybody goes to the top of that parking garage and finds all that equipment lying around, yeah. they're not going to. They're going to be like, they're gonna be like, wow, that's a weird tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. Big, weird metal air conditioner. Yeah. You know, I mean, I guess Lewis could discover it, and but who, there's no way to contact the Avengers. Yeah. Especially when they're fighting Thanos. So I'm pretty and, sure. And, ha- and, and Tony Stark is off world. And, Tony Stark's all for him. And half of the world has disappeared. Yeah. You know? You know what I really enjoyed, though? Mm-hmm. The very last cut scene with the ant playing with drums. With the ant playing the drums. And it wasn't because the ant was playing drums. It's because the fucking TV was on the fucking, like, distress, emergency, emergency broadcast. broadcast. Yeah. I was like, yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. That was great. Because that's how that shit would go down right there. <laughs> like, the world just went into chaos. Holy shit. Right? I'm dying. Yeah. So, next up for Marvel is Captain Marvel. Which wrapped, finished shooting. Finished shooting. And then Avengers 4. And mm. Spider-Man, Spider-Man Far From Home. Right. That's all we know. I mean, there's a Guardians 3. But we know, that they're, but we know they're making Guardians 3. We know, and we know they're making Black Panther 2. Right. But that's it. And they're Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange 2. Yeah. What new... Marvel movie do you think they'll do? I mean, that's hard. Damn, that's some thunder, dude. Shit. Thor 3. Thor 4. I don't know. There he made a Thor 3, I was going to say. Yeah. No, no, new, new, new character. Well, if they if they get the X-Men in Fantastic Four, that's what it would be. I mean, be. that's going to be kind of easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... I- I, I think if they do get that, that we know that the next. Well, I don't know. I, I think that. I think about it like this. So, if their next major movie event will be centered around Secret Invasion, which most likely, if you had a bet, it's going to be that, right? The Scrolls? Yeah, I mean, you're bringing in Captain Marvel, like, might as well. Should be Secret Wars, man. But let's pretend it's Secret Invasion. Okay. What character do we need? Spider Woman. Okay. Because she's the. Well, no, she doesn't have. In the comics, Spider Woman was the, the 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 Queen Scroll. Right. You don't need that for this. Anyone could be the Queen Scroll. Right. You don't need anybody. No. You just need the scrolls. How about for Secret Wars? No one either, really. Doom. Yeah, I'd love to see Doom, but that's if you're gonna if they're gonna bring in Fantastic Four, then yeah, it's Secret Doom. Secret Wars could be anything though. Okay, you could make it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be like the comic. Mm-hmm. As we saw, Secret Wars that just happened has nothing to do with the Secret Wars from the eighties. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I we were expecting to get a Ghost Rider TV show. Um, Ghost Rider was a big hit uh, in the Shield TV show, so maybe I they'll. Ghost Rider. You don't think so? Nicholas Cage just fucked that up forever. Yeah. No one cares. All right, you doing? It, to make that a major Marvel movie, no way. Yeah. No. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, go check out Ant-Man and Wasp. Do we know what it did box office-wise? Uh, 70-something million, 75 million. Mm, not bad. It did more than the first one. Okay. A lot, like 30% more. Okay, good. Go yeah. check out Ant-Man and Wasp. For Tom Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Stephen Corker. Come on, Raj. Later.